Okay. Welcome everybody to our final segment of the day for Tulsa City County Library Build a Reader Story Time. We're going to read some camping stories, but first, hey, howdy, hello. It's a beautiful day. I'm glad you could join me as I talk and play. So come in. We'll write and sing. We'll smile for a while and I'll read a few things. I've got stories to share and so much to be done. But if we all work together, we can make the day fun. I'm so happy you're here, you know. Hey, howdy, hello. Let's go. All right. So camping stories today. Camping stories because I like to go camping when the weather is nice in the spring. It's one of the best times to do it. Uh, but first, let's do our llama song and get that out of the way. So make us a llama. We get another llama. Got two llamas. Okay. Da 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 da. Happy llama, sad llama, mentally disturbed llama, super llama, drama llama, big fat mama llama. Here's a llama, there's a llama, everywhere a llama, da 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 Moose, turtle, moose, turtle, moose, turtle, moose, moose, turtle. Is that a llama? No, it's not a llama. Da 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 da. Happy llama, sad llama, mentally disturbed llama, super llama, drama llama. Big fat mama llama. Here's a llama, there's a llama, everywhere a llama, da da da. Llama song and a camping song. A ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gooly 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 gooly, and a ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gooly 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 gooly, and a ram sam sam. Oh Raffi, oh Raffi, gooly 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 gooly, and a ram sam sam. Oh Raffi, oh Raffi, gooly 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 gooly, and a ram sam sam. A pizza hut, a pizza hut, a Kentucky Fried Chicken and a pizza hut, a pizza hut, a pizza hut, a Kentucky Fried Chicken and a pizza hut, McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a pizza hut, McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a pizza hut. All good things. Unless you're camping, then you don't need those because you're going to have s'mores. We'll talk about s'mores in a minute. First, we're going to read Camp Rex by Molly Idol. I love Molly Idol's illustrations. She does some really cute stuff. <clears throat> One of her other books is called T-Rex. Get it? T T Rex? Is it just me? Okay. T-Rex. Camp Rex is what we're reading today. There's a wilderness guidebook. Probably they're going to share some of the advice in that book with us. Camp Rex by Molly Idol. Searching for an outing to enjoy with your friends? Consider camping! The fresh air and exercise are invigorating. Remember to stay together as a group. And stick to the trail. Yeah, you don't want to get lost in the woods. When you reach the campsite, find the perfect place to pitch your tent. Uh-oh. Triceratops is having a little trouble with the tent there. Oh, and the T-Rex has to wear his tent as a hat. Once you've made a camp, you can explore the surrounding area. Learning about the local flora and fauna can be great fun. Poisonous plants. 
So long as you take care to avoid dangerous plants like poison ivy. Oh, no. And refrain from disturbing the natural landscape. Uh-oh. T-Rex, that's not a pine cone. Run! Don't disturb the natural landscape or its inhabitants. If the opportunity presents itself, there's nothing more refreshing than a dip in a mountain lake or a bit of canoeing. You may even catch a fish or two for supper. After all, the seasoned camper enjoys gathering wood, kindling a flame, and cooking over a properly prepared campfire. Do you see they're burning? their broken canoe. But the T-Rex is going to add to the fire. Oh, no, he's just going to use that to roast his marshmallows. A traditional sing-along and marshmallow roast always brings campers closer together. Telling spooky stories can be fun, too, until it's time to turn in. Before you fall asleep, it's lovely to listen to the soothing sounds of the forest all around you. she can sleep. In the morning, you'll wake refreshed and ready to head on the trail again. She doesn't look very refreshed. For experienced campers are as much at home in the great outdoors as they are in their own backyard. Do you see her roasting marshmallows over the barbecue grill? And the raccoon followed them home. So they talked about some fun camping activities in that book. Uh, for example, gathering around a fire for a sing-along and roasting marshmallows. But what if you can't go camping right now? What if you have to stay home? Well, did you know you could camp in your backyard or you could camp in your living room? You don't have to go out to the forest to camp. Um, but how are you going to make a s'more without a fire? I'm here to help. First, parents, did you know that you can make s'mores over the stove? If you're willing to uh, help your children make their s'mores, you can put a little bit of butter in the bottom of a pan on low heat, put your graham cracker in there, put chocolate on top of that, and set a marshmallow right on top. When the marshmallow starts to get all melty, your s'more is done. But the other thing you can do is you can do cheating s'mores. I have the recipe for you here. Okay, first you want to take your graham cracker. Then you want to get marshmallow cream. It comes in a jar and you spread it with a knife just like peanut butter. You'll put your marshmallow cream on your graham cracker and you top that with chocolate chips or M&Ms, whatever you feel. You could also do Hershey bars whatever chocolate you prefer. But these are cheating s'mores. It's great for if you're camping in your living room or if you're camping in your backyard and you don't have a place to build a fire or if 
you go camping and you didn't check the weather first and then it rains the whole time that you're camping. That's how I learned to make this recipe when I was a child. Um, so cheating s'mores, just get that marshmallow cream that comes in a jar and chocolate chips or M&Ms or chocolate candies, whatever your favorite is. And then you can have your s'mores without burning anything down. We're going to sing our chowder song again. <clears throat> and again, I'm going to sing particularly slowly so you guys can learn the words. The fun part about silly songs is not listening to them. It's singing them to other people and hearing them laugh. Um, so I want you guys to be able to learn this song, too. Won't you bring back, won't you bring back Mrs. Murphy's chowder? It was tuneful, every spoonful made you yodel louder. After dinner, Uncle Ben used to fill his fountain pen from a bowl of Mrs. Murphy's chowder. There was ice cream, cold cream, benzene, gasoline, soup, beans, string beans floating all around. Sponge cake, beef steak, mistake, stomach ache, cream puffs, earmuffs, many to be found. Silk hats, doormats, bed slats, democrats, cowbells, doorbells, beckon you to dine. Meatballs, fish balls, mothballs, cannonballs, come on in, the chowder's fine. Won't you bring back, won't you bring back? Mrs. Murphy's chowder, it was tuneful, every spoonful made you yodel louder. If they have it where you are, you might find a subway car in a bowl of Mrs. Murphy's chowder. There was ice cream, cold cream, benzene, gasoline, soup beans, string beans floating all around. Sponge cake, beef steak, mistake, steak, stomach ache, cream puffs, earmuffs, many to be found. Silk hats, doormats, bed slats, democrats, cowbells, doorbells beckon you to dine. Meatballs, fish balls, mothballs, cannonballs, come on in, the chowder's fine. Won't you bring back, won't you bring back? Mrs. Murphy's chowder, it was tuneful, every spoonful made you yodel louder. My goldfish died the other day, and we embalmed him right away in a bowl of Mrs. Murphy's chowder. There was ice cream, cold cream, benzene, gasoline, soup beans, string beans floating all around. Sponge cake, beef steak, mistake, steak, stomach ache, cream puffs, earmuffs, many to be found. Silk hats, doormats, bed slats, democrats, cowbells, doorbells, beckon you to dine. Meatballs, fish balls, mothballs, cannonballs, come on in, the chowder's fine. Okay, last time. There was ice cream, cold cream, benzene, gasoline, soup beans, string beans floating all around. Sponge cake, beef steak, mistake, stomach ache, cream puffs, earmuffs, many to be found. Silk hats, doormats, bed slats, democrats, cowbells, doorbells, beckon you to dine. Meatballs, fish balls, mothballs, cannonballs, come on in, the chowder's fine. Was Miss Murphy's Chowder. Very old song. I don't know where it came from. Earlier I read Scaredy Squirrel Goes Camping. And Scaredy Squirrel had this pre-camping workout that I thought we should review. Pre-camping workout in order to get in shape for camping. So it goes like this. First we're going to stretch up and go side to side. Big stretches here. Again, go side to side. Okay, okay, that part's done. Part two, bending over backwards. I can't do that. Can you do that? Do you want to try to do that? Okay, so first we're going to stand up very straight and we're going to reach up and we're going to bend 
backwards. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Okay, less successful there. Number three, we're gonna bend forward and touch our toes. That's easy. I can touch my toes. Can you touch yours? Are you touching them? Okay. And last step, number four, we're going to stretch way up tall, way up tall, as tall as you can be. Get up on your toes, a little taller. Tall, tall, tall. Whew. That was a good workout. And Scaredy Squirrel says that's just the warm up. We need to repeat that 143 times. So let's not, let's not do that. That seems like a bad idea. Okay, next book I wanna share with you is Camping. A Mr. and Mrs. Green adventure. So uh, Mr. and Mrs. Green are alligators. And they are happily married and they are so cute and I love them. Mr. and Mrs. Green uh, by Keith Baker. There's lots of books with Mr. and Mrs. Green in them. So I'm gonna read Camping. It was Saturday morning. It was sunny and it was hot. Let's go camping, said Mrs. Green. Mr. Green had never been camping. He was excited. Life with Mrs. Green was full of adventure. We need a tent, said Mrs. Green. A big tent, said Mr. Green, with lots of room. We need sleeping bags, said Mrs. Green, and pillows, said Mr. Green, soft, fluffy pillows. We need food and water, said Mrs. Green, like chocolate bars and marshmallows, said Mr. Green, and soda pop. Oh yes, definitely the soda pop. We need warm clothes, said Mrs. Green, and bunny slippers, said Mr. Green. Do you think you need bunny slippers to go camping? I guess you do, it's on the list. Mrs. Green continued checking her list. We need a camp stove, we need boots, we need a first aid kit, we need flashlights, we need matches, we need hats. We need a harmonica, Mr. Green was a musician. We need paints and paper, Mrs. Green was an artist. And we need a map. A map, asked Mr. Green. We need a map? Yes, this map said Mrs. Green. I made it last night. Mr. Green began to worry. We're going far away, he thought. There could be dark, mysterious woods, strange, eerie sounds, spooky, glowing eyes, sharp, pointy teeth, and mosquitoes. Mr. Green was not excited anymore. He was scared, and he hated mosquitoes. Rightly so, Mr. Green. But Mrs. Green wasn't scared. She was ready to go. Mr. and Mrs. Green hiked over their welcome mat and down their front steps, past Mr. Marble's rock garden and his barking dog, Boulder, beside their favorite picnic spot, where Mr. Green once ate six watermelons and across Pollywog Bridge, the best fishing spot in town. Around every pothole and dandelion in Shortcut Alley and through a squeaky back gate that looked and sounded very familiar. Mrs. Green pulled out her map. We will camp here, she said, next to the bird bath. Mr. Green looked closely at the map. He saw the path they had just traveled. So they started at home. They went around and down and back up again through town. And it's very close to where they started. It ended at their backyard their cozy, comfortable, beautiful backyard. Mr. Green was excited again. The grass around the birdbath was thick and soft. It was the perfect place to set up their tent. 
he would sleep like a salamander. After dinner, they crawled into their sleeping bags. Look at the moon, said Mrs. Green. It's like a giant marshmallow, said Mr. Green. He began to play his harmonica, but he fell asleep before finishing even one song. Mrs. Green felt happy. The sleeping bag was snugly, the stars were twinkling, the frogs were croaking, and best of all, Mr. Green was snoring loudly by her side. Isn't that sweet? So romantic. Now, I wanted to share an activity with you guys. So Mr. Green played the harmonica. Do you guys play the harmonica? I bet most of you probably don't. Do you even have a harmonica? Well, I'm here to help. So here's a little craft you can do at home. What you need is a comb, like you do your hair with. Just grab your comb out of the bathroom, and you need some wax paper. This is probably something you have in the kitchen. You take your wax paper and you fold it around the comb. And then you're gonna put it in your mouth. Don't bite down on it. Just set it gently. And when you blow on it and hum, it's gonna make a sound like a harmonica. Now you have to hum, okay? Um, and you just barely touch it with your lips as you blow on it. And this is a really fun thing that you can do while you're sitting around the campfire while you're camping, is everybody can just name a song and then you all sing it together, except you hum it on your harmonica. So we're gonna do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. This is a really fun game that you can play is when you sing weird songs like Disney songs, I'm not going to do them on TV because then the Disney lawyers will get me. Or you can do your favorite TV show songs um, or your favorite songs from the radio. Um, another fun game is you can hum a song on your fake harmonica and let all of your friends guess what song it is. Like, name that tune. So it's a really fun camping activity, and it's really easy. And it only takes a comb and some wax paper. Very easy activity. And also your dogs look at you funny when you make that noise. Hi, Spirit. I'm okay. It was a harmonica. We're good. She's happy now. She was very concerned for a moment there. Uh, I'm going to sing another song. Woke up this morning. Nope, that's the wrong chord. It's okay to make mistakes, Mom and Dad. Woke up this morning, smiled at the rising sun. Three little birds were by my doorstep, singing a sweet song, melody pure and true, singing, this is my message to you. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. I woke up this morning. Smiled at the rising sun Three little birds Were by my doorstep Singing a sweet song Melody pure and true 
singing. This is my message to you. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be alright. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing it's gonna be all right. I always like to point out when I make mistakes live on TV because a lot of children think that adults don't make mistakes anymore, that that's something that you outgrow. And it's not. Everybody makes mistakes and it's okay to admit it. All right. That's all the time we've got for our stories today. I hope you enjoyed my camping stories, and I really hope you enjoyed my s'more recipe and that you're going to try it sometime because you know what? It's delicious. It's just as good as actual s'mores if you can't get actual s'mores. Qualifier in there. So I'm going to sing a goodbye song, and then I will see you all next week. So thank you for joining me for our Tulsa City County Library Build a Reader Storytime. I'm Tori, and um, oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, we have announced the dates for our summer reading program. Our summer reading program this year is going to be June 22nd through July 31st. That's shorter than normal, but it's a weird year. Um, and our program's going to be entirely online this year. So be sure and check tulsalibrary.org for more information about that. Um, Here's our goodbye song. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Well, goodbye, everybody. Well, goodbye, everybody. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. And let's do it on the fake harmonica. <laughs> The dog does not like that at all. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Well, goodbye, everybody. Well, goodbye, everybody. Well, goodbye, everybody. See you soon.